what's going on out there good people it is your boy look around with lmd trading coming at you again today with another daily trade review today we were one and done back on that one and done train none of that mess that we had going on yesterday and actually we sat down at the desk a little late this morning had some other obligations to take care of at market open so wasn't able to do my usual pre-market routine and missed the first part of the open but sat back down at the desk once we got done and because we didn't really do any pre-market routine there weren't any true option plays that I was looking at. I figured I would just check the SPY and the QQQs out. So the watch list today is going to be thin. I'm going to pull that up real quick. Just take a quick peek at it. We only had one idea on the watch list. That was an actual stock play. That was VXX. And it never did anything to valid um, taking a trade on it. We had CYN on the chart or on the watch list. We did get a trade on this in our main account. Nice play right here off of this area. We got in at four, actually it was more so down here. We got in at 470. So just as it was breaking this area, rolled this all the way up. We had moved our stop up and got stopped out. So got most of that move. Someone in Relentless Traders chat room had mentioned BWV, so I had dropped that on there to look at. Wasn't nothing there that I liked. Had BTTX on the watch list, nothing there. And then we found a nice trade on the SPY. So we got in that one. But I am going to do something a little different today. I actually recorded the trade on OBS. So we'll take a look at that as it was actually playing out in real time. But before I do that, I did not switch over my setup from the setup that I use to review trades from the setup that I actually use to take trades. So I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of flip through real quick, let you see the three screens that I am usually looking at. So. What you're seeing now, that's my thumbnail watch list. This is on the left hand screen. So that's what I'm looking at to find patterns to get in. And usually, blow these up. Usually that's what I'm, uh, let me fix that. Usually the candles are more so like that. They're not the little tiny candles that you see when I'm showing what the trades did that day. So they're normally about that size. So I can see patterns as they're forming. I can see pullbacks. I can see the confirmations. I can see if it's flagging, if it's going to break out. And then I'm just looking for an idea. If I see an idea forming, like we see this one here, the Q's, it came up above 50-day moving average. So if it had continued up pullback, that might have been an area that might interest me. So that's the screen on the left. Screen dead center. That's dead center. And I'm going to go ahead, kill my camera. So this is what I'm looking at to take a trade. So I got watch list here. Right now it's set to the daily high. So anything above previous day's high. $50.00. Or higher price this is my daily ideas so this is what I'm having to where I could just click through flip through them on my charts and then below that we got the watch list for the calls there's nothing on that one today watch list for the puts trader ladder so active trader ladder that's what this is here Right now, it is set to lilac, number nine, which corresponds to these. So when I click these, it changes my trading ladder. I click it and it has the red box. It's changing my charts. Charts that I'm using, 
five minute, two minute for my small time frame, 30 minute, 15 minute for my longer time frame. And then if I want to look at the daily, I could just come right here. This one here has the hourly, the five, the daily, and the 15 or the four, four hour. Usually I'll have, where's maximum? Usually that's how I have the daily. So I can go from my flexible grid to my daily and I can see what the daily is looking like. So that's my center screen. And then the screen to the right, screen to the right. This one here has time and sales. Another watch list showing my daily ideas. Another watch list showing possible um, ideas that I might want to add to the watch list. Right now, this one is set to previous days low greater than 50. So these would be ideas that I might be wanting to take a put on. Got my message center. So anytime something new hits the a watch list, it's going to alert me. Also going to tell me any changes to any orders that I have. Up at the top right, I got news. And then below that, it has the option chain. So this is what I'm using to pick my option contracts. This side here, calls, purple is in the money. This side here, puts, purple is in the money. And it is, e and then, this is where I'm looking for for the delta, right there. So 0.25. Like I said, I like to be between 0.25, and we'll say 0.2 to 0.3. Let's go there. So this one, instead of doing the 0.25, I would do 0.27 because of the open interest. And then if we come over here to a call play, we see the 0.22 has the better open interest. So that open interest is liquidity. That's liquidity. So I'm going to take the ones with the higher open interest. It's a little more liquid to get in and out. And that's it. So let's say I want to trade this put or let's go up here let's say we want to trade that put i'm going to right click it i'm going to say add it to the puts watch list and that's it and then let's go back over and now you see that it has added it to my puts watch list and then i can click it now it's added it to the ladder so that is my setup. That is what I'm using. But like I said, I recorded today. So that's what we're going to use. So that's why I didn't switch over to my review setup. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a peek at the, um, take a peek at trader view real quick. Look at the particulars. We're going to be reviewing trades for May 10th, Tuesday, we took one trade. Close p and 100 bucks. Nice, solid trade. Take a peek at the details on it real quick. We got in it at 10.35. We paid $337 per contract. So we were in, what, $774 for the trade. And we got out at 387 That netted us 100 bucks on that trade. So for 774 bucks. Small investment to make a hundred bucks, but let me go ahead. I'm gonna pull up the um, pull up the video real quick. Let's see how this is gonna work since this is my first time doing it. If you hadn't hit that like button, please do so. Please do so, and let's see if this is gonna work. All right, there we go. So this is actually this is a recording. Recorded this on OBS this morning. Um, and it sounds like I hear RT in the background because I was listening to him. I was in the chat room as I was trading. So let me turn the sound off and um, kind of walk through what I was doing. I'm going to back this up real quick if you don't mind. And if you pay attention over to the left where I said that the puts were at, 
you'll see me dropping you'll see it just drop that spy in there so this contract is a may 13th expiration put that's what the p is 395 strike price last price that it was trading at was three dollars and 16 cent multiplied by 100 316 dollars would have been to buy it i had no position the delta was 31 the spread two cents so a nice tight spread that would tell me my PL when i'm in the trade this tells me my percent in the trade um daily ideas watch list is here again this is the previous day's highs so anything that's trading above the previous day's highs is going to be on this watch list these color blocks here are telling me if the stock is currently trading above or below vwap so green above vwap red below vwap ladder this ladder is set to red right now so it's showing you the spy so this is level two this is showing you the level two for the spy and this is what i like to use i don't like to use the level two for td ameritrader for thinkorswim so these are buyers these are sellers and they're stacked up on the ladder we got our charts here five minute two minute 30 and 15. and i will walk through what i was looking at on this trade what i what i was looking at so we're going to start up here at the upper left which is the five minute you see this low here and that low there those were my areas I was looking at we'll come down to the two minute it's showing you the same thing that area there that area there but we are in the market pretty good we're in the market pretty good so now I'm gonna come over to my 15 and my 30 minute we look at the 15 or I'm sorry look at the 30 upper left you got a decent wide range it's like a doji and you got this candle here kind of resting look at the volume no real appreciable volume and then you got this little one here so this is a we call it a pseudo three bar play so this candle breaks the low i want to be in the trade and then we come over here to the 15 minutes which is the lower right we see that this stock is coming down and this teal line is the 20 day moving average. So it's testing the 20 day moving average. So all charts are lining up perfectly. And look, it, right now it would have triggered me in. So I should be in this trade right now. I should be in the trade right now, but I'm still kind of just watching it because I had really just sat down hadn't been sitting down that long but the other thing so that would be entry of course stop will be up here but look at the void this is the void that this thing has to go down and again you're seeing it on the 15 you're seeing it on the 30 and now you see me getting active. You see my mouse is moving. I'm like, why am I missing this trade? So here, I had an extra study down here. I have no clue what that study was down there on my chart for. So I was removing that. So not a part of the trade, but let's get that off the screen. And let's see where we're at now. So again, another thing I'll point out is on this chart and this is why i liked having the 30 and the 15. all right so what i'm doing now i'm going up and i'm changing the ladder to work with the contracts changing my account i had to block that out so i changed from the margin account which i took my um, cyn trade which is my main account switched over to the cash account so we're getting ready to take this trade now changing my quantity to two and then i'm gonna just come up there and click buy the ask and watch this ladder see the prices i am now in this trade so i'm gonna close out 
that there close out those watch lists i don't need those and that's why i keep them on that right screen also right here um let me back that up real quick back that up so when i got in this trade i got in this trade with the so it, the trigger and a bracket but i didn't want the bracket so i'm gonna cancel those brackets i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna switch oco so that's one cancels the other brackets and watch when i put see when i put the arrows on there it's going to set my stop at 24 that area that's right where i want to be at so i'll come up i'll drag the upper one where i want to get out of the trade but what has happened and it happened yesterday was the trade might move so i'm in the trade it might pop i'll set my my upper target and my lower target will be moving up the ladder and you're going to see that here in a second you'll see if you look my stop is at eight dollars right now so that thing if i would have clicked it on there this stock can pull back stop me out for eight dollars and it'll keep on moving so what I did today was I'm like, I'm not going to set that bracket just yet. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch the trade. If it starts turning against me, I can click anywhere up there in the green. It's going to set my lower bracket and I'll be good. So like right now, if I set it, that, that, that lower stop is going to be at $12. I don't want that. So I'm just letting this trade work. And we're going to see, eventually I will set my bracket and I will go ahead and adjust it. But that's once this trade has, has gotten in the money pretty good. And the gray here is showing you where the last transaction was at, whether it was a buy or sell. We don't care about that. We just know that that was the last last transaction so right now i'm in the money 24 bucks so i'm up one r on this trade and we're just letting it work we are just letting it work and again like i said give it a give it a minute you will actually see where i do go ahead and put my bracket in one thing i will also mention on the 30 and the 15 if you look you see some congestion right there. I didn't have it marked on the chart. So that's going to be my first target area. But it wasn't marked on the chart. And you'll see me mark it on, bam, right on time. I'm marking it on the chart now. So that's my first target. Because that was acting as an area of resistance with it going down. It was not letting it punch through there. So I need to be aware of that. When we come back over, you'll see that I have now set my, or I'm still still getting ready to set it, but we see we're up $54 on these two contracts. So $774 investment, and we're up 50 bucks. We're just letting the trade do what it do. Um, if you look at the five minute chart, the upper left chart, you do see that it's it's dropping some pretty good red candles. So it's, it's probably going to be due for a pullback. And that's my thought process looking at it. I'm like, OK, let me go ahead. Let me set my brackets. So you see now I just clicked it. So you saw it put it. You'll see me come down. So it has my my stop loss set at 24 and that's basically locking in one r so i'm adjusting that so the worst i can make on this trade right now is i'm locked in for one r that's because i'm thinking okay this might pull back and instead of me letting it pull back and ride through it let me go ahead, lock that money in, and if it pulls back, I'll get back in and take another trade. And then you see me adjusting my upper target for 100 bucks. 
And when I first started this strategy, I was risking 25 to make 50. So risking two to one. I'm going to risk 25 to make 50. And what I found over the months is that these trades usually go four to one. I could usually get three or four to one out of these trades. And look at it. Look at it. It's moving. We almost ready to hit target. We're ready to hit it. Bam. When you see those numbers go off the screen like that, that meant somebody just took my order. So I'm out of that trade. I didn't made my I didn't made my target. But come over and look at the 30 minute up at the upper left. Look at where that thing came down to. That's that area. It came right down to that area. And again, it doesn't have to touch that line. The area could be a few cents above it or a few cents below it. But we just need to be aware of where it is. So that was a good solid trade. I'm glad I was able to capture it. One thing that when I use OBS to record is that it causes my computer to lag at times. So that's why I have not really been recording because of that lag. And you can somewhat see it in this video. You see how it's real choppy and it can be like that when I'm trading and I don't want to risk recording just to record for it to mess up me trying to get in and out of a trade. So I need to adjust the OBS settings. And that's why when I recorded it, you don't see a camera because the camera will cause it to lag at times too. So I thought that was what was doing it. And here you just see me kind of admiring my work. I'm like, look at that thing. It came down to 399.90. It came right down to that area and kind of pulling back right now. So had I not marked that area on the chart, I might have just said, oh, it still has room to go. But saw it, let me mark it, and I know that's my first area. Um, it could have blew right through it. At that point, it didn't matter. I was at four to one. I'm four to one on my money. And that was it. That was that was the end of that trade. And I actually did record the CYN trade as well. So I'm gonna try to get that one loaded up and let you see. It's pretty much the same way. I'm looking for a pattern. I'm gonna set where I wanna get in it. Um, trading stocks, it is a little easier to use the bracket, I will say that. So I'll try to get that one uploaded as well. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like I say, it was something that's a little different, a little different, but gives you a perspective of what my setup is looking like, what, I, what I'm looking at when I'm trading. And it also lets you see how the trade plays out. So hope y'all enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Um, if you do subscribe, hit, hit that notification bell, click all. That way you'll get notified anytime I post a video. And on that note, we're going to wrap this one up. Peace.